guys, it's Lindsay Ann, and today we are making something that everybody has to have in their basic go-to recipe collection with the best vanilla buttercream frosting ever. I use this frosting in so many of my videos, from cake decorating to frosting cupcakes and making really fun party treats and desserts. This stuff is light and fluffy with a sweet, creamy, buttery flavor. Everyone loves it. It only has a few ingredients and it's really easy to whip together. Now, I'm gonna make the frosting in my stand mixer, but you can definitely use your hand mixer for this too. I just like to let the machine do all the work for this because we're gonna be beating it for a while to get that really nice, light, fluffy texture. So we're just gonna beat together one cup, which is two sticks of unsalted softened butter on medium high speed until it's nice, smooth, and creamy. And it's really important that your butter is softened to room temperature, so I just like to let it sit out for about 30 minutes before I start so you get that really nice, creamy, light, smooth, fluffy frosting. And we're just gonna keep beating this for about two to four minutes until it's nice and creamy and pale in color. And just make sure you stop to scrape down the bottom and the sides of the bowl halfway through to make sure everything's getting whipped up nicely. Now here comes the star of the show, the vanilla. So you can do this two ways. You can do a tablespoon of vanilla extract, or what I like to do is add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. And this just creates that really gourmet vanilla bean style buttercream and the vanilla flavor just really shines through. And I'll leave a link for you guys if you wanna find out where to buy this online. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna take four cups, which is one pound of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, and I'm just gonna pour this right into a fine mesh strainer over a bowl so we can sift it to make sure we remove any lumps. Then we're just gonna add the powdered sugar right into the bowl in three batches, and just start off on low speed so it all doesn't puff up in your face, and then once it's all nice and mixed in there, you can go ahead and turn up the speed to medium speed. And you're gonna do this until all the powdered sugar is fully incorporated, making sure you scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl as needed. Now we're gonna add just a few tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Now you can definitely use milk or half and half instead, but I promise if you use heavy cream, it whips up so beautifully into this gorgeous, luscious, creamy, dreamy frosting. Now we're just gonna increase the speed to medium high and let this baby whip for about three to five minutes until it's nice and light and fluffy. Even if you're baking out of a box, if you top it with this homemade buttercream frosting, it is totally gonna take your box mix desserts up to a whole new level and make them super gourmet. And the best part is, is how versatile this is. You can add in just about any kind of mix-ins or flavoring extracts to create just about any kind of frosting flavor. If you guys give it a try, be sure to tag me in a picture on social media at Lindsay and Bakes. Let me know what kind of flavor combos you created. I love to see them. Now, if you're not using this right away, go ahead and store it in an airtight container for about a week, or you can freeze it for about two months. Then when you're ready to use it, just bring it back to room temperature and whip it back up again, and it's all ready to use. So there you have the best vanilla buttercream frosting ever. I hope you guys love the video and check out my chocolate buttercream frosting video for a little variation and tons more recipes that go perfect with this vanilla buttercream. Thanks for stopping by. Head on over to lindsayandbakes.com for the full written recipe and a list of all the flavor variations you can create with this. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be the first to see my all new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.